Welcome back to the Division II State Track Finals. This broadcast is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company. Proud to be the exclusive presenting sponsor of WOSN State Track coverage and as always, proud to support Mercer County Athletics. And right now is the sponsor of this broadcast, which brings to you many state champions, including Alexa Fortman of Ottawa Glandorf, who just minutes ago won the 400, and now she's back here to run the 800. Here is our com contenders in this race. Izzy Best of Woodridge in lane 1A, Maggie Hopple of Salem in 1B, Lauren Twyman of Bid River Valley in 2A, Jenna Cassidy of Minerva in 2B, Amy Weibrecht of Gilmore Academy in 3A, Ruby Gross, Gross of 3B and Carol in, from Carol in 3B, Hannah Weiler of Tuscarawas Valley in 4A, Brio Wilfong of John Glenn in 4B, Kennedy Schleschman of Huron in 5A, Raina Hoffman from Shelby in 5B, Jaylee Wingate of Norway in 6A, Delaney Kinter, Summit Country Day in 6B, Elizabeth Whaley from Indian Hill. We saw her win the 3200 in 7A, Re Reese Riemann of Woodridge in 7B, Alexa Fortman from Ottawa Glander in 8A, Zaina Tate of Galleon in 8B, Melina Seibach of Tusla in 9A, and Maggie Hall of Salem in 9B. See, that is right, Elizabeth Whaley, she was the 3200 meter winner. Well, Whaley. Am I thinking correctly? The, the races are starting to blend together. <laughs> Whaley and Wingate were uh, competing. Oh, that was in yeah. the that was in the mile. Correct. I'm sorry, 1600. Elizabeth Whaley in the 1600 is what she won. Well, I was going to ask we you. We haven't though. had the 3200 yet. <laughs> I was going to ask you about Fortman, an advantage that she just ran, or is it a oh, detriment? It's a disadvantage, okay. without a doubt. She has had. She has not had the amount of rest that even she mm -hmm. knows that she needs. In fact, she really was thinking this through all of the past week of what's my best chance to win? What's my best chance to run? Now, there was a chance that she could have chosen not to run the 400, which would have given her a better chance in the 800. But I tell you what, she is mentally tough, and uh, she's out and about already. I should probably just shut my mouth because whatever is I said about needing rest, Alexa Fortman's already out right there from the start. Well, I was, I was going to wonder, you know, she just ran. You're kind of loose. She's still coming off that adrenaline high it's the, of winning. It's the high, but to run a 55-second 400 in the heat of this day and to have so little time to come back, even she will know that's a challenge. But is she up for the challenge? I think we're seeing that answer right now. She's out in front. I think she's settled in just a tad bit. She did take off pretty quickly. Perhaps she wants to be close to that front when they move their way over. She is way out there in lane eight, so she had a little bit of a ways to go. But look at that. Elizabeth she leads Whaley the way as she takes heels. off. Elizabeth Whaley comes in with a 210.25. Ottawa, Ottawa Gladrops' Alexa Fortman comes in with a 214.51, but she's already run a 211 so far this year. And wow, Miles, look, look at this girl as she continues to go. Elizabeth Whaley. Whaley making her move. Making her move and Alexa contending. Yeah, I, I like it. Alexa stood up to the challenge, so now Whaley's having to expend some extra energy on the outside. They're so close to each other that you can almost watch uh, a, their, their strides at one point were actually in unison with each other. But now as we get on this backside, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Whaley is forced on the outside, which means she is forced to run a little bit extra on this race. It's never an advantage. So Alexa did the right thing of getting herself into that spot as we make our way around. And now it's the straightaway, and now it's to see who's got it left. Whaley's had a little more rest time. Alexa Fortman's had less rest time. But wow, look at the empower. Oh, look man, at Fortman. she's going to do it. She's going to do it. <gasps> And she ran a 208. Alexa Fortman. I can't wait to see what the split. It's a 208.60. Alexa Fortman is your new OHSAA Division II record holder from this race. And she just won the 400 literally minutes ago. Truly incredible. <laughs> Truly incredible. It, well, no disadvantage having to run that before <laughs> this. I, I say advantage. Back, I take back everything I just said. <laughs> well, when it comes to Alexa Fortman, you can never underestimate the determination. The Terminator gets it done again. All right, folks. Well, with that, we're going to take a quick break because we don't have too many races left to go. 
When we come back, we've got the 200 meter dash, we've got the 3200 meter run, and we've got the 4 by 400 meter relay, and we'll give you some results of the other races that didn't have our local runners. But yeah, folks, you just saw it happen again. Alexa Fortman not only won the 800 meter run, she set the OHSA Division II and state meet records with a 208.62. Alexa Fortman, the girl who every time she has an opportunity gives glory to God for the ch for the uh, talent he's given her, and I would venture to guess she spent the last two minutes and eight seconds praying the whole way around. All right, folks, we're going to go to break. We'll be back with the 200-meter dash and Brady Burry from Benjamin Logan in just a moment. Back on the infield and back with Alexa Fortman, two-time state champion, 400, 800. How does it feel? Incredible. I, a lot of people said the 4 and 8 is impossible to do together because they're so close and I really just relied on God to pull me through both those races and he makes the impossible possible. I know there was some discussion. I, I heard that you were considering dropping one race in order to focus on the other. Did you see doing both as just kind of an extra challenge to see if maybe, maybe I can do this? Yeah, even up to last night, I was debating if I should go for both, and I just prayed about it a lot and wanted to just, it's state, so just give all you got and see what you can do. What was your strategy heading into it? Like, did you have a particular approach to make sure that you had enough in the tank for both races? Um, I really just wanted to focus on one race at a time and just do what I could at that moment and just carry it through. And the adrenaline rush in between was incredible, so I think that helped a lot too. Two-time state champion, what will you remember most about your experience here, knowing that you've got possibly one more year to come back to Jesse O? Yeah, um, just same focus, I think, and continuing to work hard because that pays off and just truly continuing to rely on God and remember it's all part of his plan. Well, Alexa Fortman's plan may be coming back here next year, but for now, two state titles, a terrific season, and happy birthday. Everyone else wishing you happy birthday as well. Alexa, great job, great season. Thank you very much.